Hello everybody, Chris here from Friendly Frenzy Games. Hope everybody's having a fantastic day today. Gonna just jump right back into this one, picking up where we left off obviously on episode five of the Achievement Progress kind of series that we've been working on here. We should be able to finish the From Tape to Tape achievement today. Obviously with these two runs left, we are looking for Chris Cultist and uh, Gideon or Gideon, that referee to show up in our runs. Might take us a couple of abandoned runs to be able to get the superstars that we're looking for here. Hopefully it doesn't take too, too long. So just bear with us um, while we queue this up here and see if we can get the superstars that we are looking for to finish this one off. Um, we're going to do Tomahawk, believe it or not, over Dragon Shout and Gas. Honestly, this might not make a difference right now anyways. And we are very lucky and get both of them right away. I don't think we've seen Cultist show up or Gideon, so it's nice to see both of them. Uh, probably won't get this lucky again. Let's try and get the harder of the two out of the way here. Obviously, Chris Cultist is going to be a little bit of a challenge here to use. He is the most expensive superstar at 100 rubber. Obviously, 23 speed isn't all that great. 23 accuracy isn't all that great, but his shot power and checking are very, very low. Red stats here. Um, but really, I think the gem of him is his ability. We've never used it, but I'm assuming that it's basically, if you've played the Cultist match, they are able to basically summon kind of any superstar. So we'll have to see how that all works. Um, you can see here our selection of bench warmers is not very strong at all. Stu Stumple is going to come in pretty clutch, pretty balanced already. CV Louder isn't bad either if we can find a way to get our speed up. Freddy is obviously lacking in speed and shot power, so shot power isn't too, too much an issue, but definitely speed will be. Um, this is definitely going to be a more challenging run here. Very beneficial that we get Rubber Idol off the start here just to kind of round out our team because our bench warmers definitely need a boost. Doesn't really do too much for us in terms of our superstar though. So Chris Cultist is going to have a rough go. We're going to need to um, potentially look at putting him on defense. But we will see how this playthrough works. Again, we're just ripping through on casual right now. We don't need to farm rubber anymore. But just to kind of blow through these runs relatively quickly. And as easily as possible here. Again, we have lost on casual before. Even though we've drastically outplayed the opponent. So, I mean... There is definitely still that element of potential loss, a little bit of a little bit of nervousness, especially when you work in some of these additional talents or artifacts that we might end up coming across here. But obviously you can see we've got a decent amount of rubber here, but all we're trying to do is finish up for this um, from tape to tape achievement. Gonna put rebound magnet on, nice way to start this one. We're gonna get on Angus McShaggy involved in the play pretty early here. Gonna go to the camp, and with this one, we, I just wanna double check. Okay, so the double the attributes from training at campsites, so not rest. So we go back here, we're gonna train speed, that's helpful. All of our bench warmers are getting plus 16. Angus and Chris are gonna get plus eight speed, so that's cool. Pop into our first elite game here already, which is super nice. Again, I probably should have adjusted our lineup. I don't remember who is what. After this game and after this next talent here, we'll kind of reassess things. Hopefully we uh, don't get buried already because I want the opportunity to uh, make the adjustments that we need here. Gonna, with Chris here, just try when it makes sense. We have to try his ability because I'm not sure. Obviously he's the only one who has this ability. So it'll be interesting to see kind of what that looks like. Nice to be playing with Tomahawk. It's been a little, little while since we've really made use of abilities. Have not used Tomahawk in a long time. So nice to kind of get reacquainted with that a little bit here. Get us some time, get us some space. Probably going to be super helpful on casual because I feel like they're a little easier to um, use. Not necessarily aim, but I feel like they do a little bit more damage here. So that's always kind of nice. Good shot. Good shot. Yeah, so for the from tape to tape achievement, it really is just playing through the game and completing um, runs with all of the available superstars in the game. It's probably about, I don't know, 12, 14 superstars maybe. I don't actually remember, but good shot from Agus again here. But this should be the last episode, at least for this achievement progress one. I think, unless we have the opportunity to get the um, balanced offense, we will still need to put out uh, probably a shorter 
but still long form content, just getting that achievement. Kind of see what that one looks like. And then we can get back to gearing up for a solid deep run through expert here. But if all goes well, this should be the last of the achievement progress episodes. And we can get back to playing on harder difficulties here. Just keep chipping away. Whoa. Okay, so I gotta remember, try and get Chris Cultus involved. I just don't know when it makes sense to use his ability, to be completely honest. Okay, so I just used it. You can see we've switched to Calvin. I don't know how long we are gonna stay as Calvin. I don't know if we end up switching back or if it's just basically you switch once at the beginning of the game and you get who you get. Pretty interest. Okay, so it's a, a couple of seconds, maybe five, ten seconds that you stay as a random superstar here. So I don't know if we assume their typical attributes or if they just stay kind of with Chris's attributes. I would imagine it's probably just um, based on how good Chris is, and he's not good. So be interesting there. Obviously, we get Kelly Jelly here, but it's going to be pretty interesting to be able to kind of use random people here. I don't know if it's just going to plug through all of the people that we have available. That'll be pretty cool if it does. We have obviously a very wide selection of superstars, obviously having each one of them purchased. Relatively easy first game here, especially considering that we don't have any talents and our attributes are not very good. Let's do momentum here to get some speed. Who's our slowest skater here? Our slowest skater is Kowalski. I don't think we need to put this on a defender. I'm fine with that right now. We'll put it on Stevie Louder just to kind of get him going here. He's going to be more rounded out than um, Chris Caltus, and he's also going to be pumped even better because he's a bench warmer and stands to benefit from our camps and rubber, rubber idle a lot more. Obviously, I mean, with some speed bonuses, he's not going to benefit as much. I mean, he will, but he's already going to be getting speed bonuses from winning games here, so... Um, it's not going to be as much of a benefit as it might be if we can kind of plug some other things. Chris called this weak shot and um, crappy accuracy, but was able to bury one there. It's kind of nice to see. Get a quick win. Got free rubber there. We can get some accuracy too. Maybe we will. Let's just find some ways to pump these stats right now because we are going to be in pretty, pretty tough against these guys. Chris Caltus, I want to pump his accuracy here. It's nice to be able to get this early on. We just got to make sure we keep winning games and our guys are going to receive considerable bonuses here. Um, because we are focusing on training and the camps and Rubber Idol is focused purely on bench warmers, it's going to be pretty tough to um, make sure that Chris is getting bonuses. So it's nice to be able to get some stat bonuses with our talents here that we can kind of use to plug him up. Whoop. Especially because he is the weakest person on our team by far. Again, I would imagine it's just strictly because of his ability there to be able to transform into anybody. But again, if they are going to kind of be summoned at his attributes, it's not really a benefit. I'm not sure, again, what the point of that really is. Probably just a cool little vanity. He's a very cool looking player, but um, oh, didn't want to do that. but uh, yeah, the functionality, I'm not really sure. It's nice that when he makes the transition, he does not lose, um, he doesn't lose possession of the puck. That's kind of nice. Get a good couple of shots as Rory here. But again, if he just has um, Chris's shot power and accuracy, you can see it's kind of buried against the post. He can't do anything. The goalie wasn't helping out there. They couldn't pick it up, we couldn't pick it up, so no real benefit. Definitely digging Tomahawk. It's been a little while since we've been able to kind of go on a wrecking spree, so that's nice to have. Again, been a long time coming since we've had Tomahawk. Oh, we got flattened there. Probably should have just passed that out. I'm not really sure what I was thinking, to be completely honest, but just flattened by Angus. Stevie. Oh, good chance to clean that one up. There we go. Get a nice little angle there. Get Angus involved in this game. That one's high and wide. Okay. Had a good chance from Cultus there, but again, the uh, shot 
power is not helping. He's low 20s, so I shouldn't have done that. I was just going cross ice trying to hit. I should have just used Tomahawk or switched to Cultist to try and get that, but a nice little shot again. You can see the goalie really wasn't coming over to cover that spot of the net, so we just pretty much picked the spot that we wanted. Uh, would have been super sweet to pick the puck up there, maybe get out of this one with a quick mercy, but didn't happen that way. Gonna bump into a second period here, hopefully get a quick goal. Let's see how quickly we can rip through this one. Oh, oh, we had a very good couple of opportunities there to end this one nice and quick, but did not happen. Good shot, Stevie Louder. Angus, get in front of the net. me. Ooh, sorry, ref. Stu. Calvin's deking us out here. Can I use that tomahawk to my advantage? Stevie Louder again. Good shot. You can see the goalie wasn't really moving with us, so we had him kind of stuck there. Stevie Louder just with a nice quick shot. End this one. Let's pop out of this elite game. Keep trucking along. 17 to 3 for shots. Whistle of time. Very nice to get this one early. Should really cut down some time on our run. Again, we're going to train, um, we're going to get eight checking on everybody and an additional eight for a total of 16 on our bench warmers. Going to skip that talent, hopefully that doesn't come back to bite us again, but Rubber Idol makes it very hard to want to go the talent route when you have the option to just keep stacking attributes here. We've had, honestly, a lot of success with both styles of play, whether it be attribute stacking or stacking with talents, but uh, because our bench warmers were so weak and we had an early opportunity to kind of build them up a little bit here I think that is our safest kind of our safest kind of play Chris Coltis is pretty slow obviously his speed's only 20 I mean we uh, plugged 8 into speed for him and we should be um, with that uh, bonus I think that was plugging up his accuracy maybe not speed I don't remember Good shot, Stevie Louder again. They are going to call this one back though, so they decided that they don't like that one. No problem, get this one off the board so we don't have to deal with it later. Stevie Louder is already a stud. He's got nothing on him besides just raw attributes. And again, he was just very balanced out of the start. So nice to be able to kind of continue working on him a little bit. Good shot there. Probably could have come in a little closer to try for that slap shot. You can tell, obviously, his shout power wasn't really there. It was a pretty weak one, all things considered, but good flying shoulder from Angus. Another one behind the back there, right to the back of the head. Quick pass, Stevie Louder. We just kind of not let it. Ooh, stack of the pads. Nice. Cultist. There you go, Chris. Nice shot there, bud. Wasn't expecting that one from him, but... We will take it. Hopefully this accuracy is going to pay off with him. Big little shot there. Get Angus into the game. It's him and Stevie taking this game by storm. They closed us out there. Probably could have done that a little differently there. Get us a little bit, a little bit better of a chance, but flattened. Stevie, good shot. And force the goalie to hold on to this one. I would have rather him just play it because I hate going to face-offs because we don't typically win them. Ooh, very good chance. Stevie wanted to try and capitalize on that one, but could flatten run him over, though. Okay, goalie, chill out. We don't need to come out. Who do we get? We get Calvin. Ooh. Nice to be able to use a yo-yo. That never, ever works for us. But Got a little bit in the goalie's head there. Nice stick right in the back of the neck. And we have a two goal lead going into the second period. Obviously 10-5 for shots. Again, we don't really have anything that's speeding this up. We do have the whistle that's kind of working for us here, but we don't have talents that are speeding this up. We're just basically working on raw speed. And we are not a very fast team yet, so anything that we can kind of do here to make um, this run quicker is going to be super important going forward. Aye, aye. That was close. Three goal cushion would have made a huge difference here. Obviously, Kelly Jelly. Not sure why we don't have the ability to use her spin. 
because we get the ability to use Calvin's yo-yo. But again, not one that I'm particularly fond of anyways. It doesn't make a huge difference, but Chris Baltus with a nice shot. Somehow this guy has uh, three goals. I guess makes sense. Calvin's would have counted as his. I am very curious, though, to see if it covers what stats they're spawning in with. If they spawn with their superstar stats or if it spawns with, like, the uh, original. Nice. Ooh. If it spawns with the original superstar stats. So Calvin, obviously, we know he's very, very accurate. But I don't know if he gets the evil version spawn, if it's all based on Chris or if it comes in as Calvin. Ooh, definitely thought we had that. Somehow I took out Stevie in the, on the play there. Sorry, buddy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Get a little headshot there. Our goalie stacking the pads, thinking, uh, come on, Stevie. Ah, uh, we almost got out of that one early. We're going to need one more goal here to hopefully round this one out, save a couple of seconds. See if we can get this done early in the third here. Missing the games where we proceeded in the first period. Those were fun. There we go. Nice and early in the third still. Get out of this one. See what we get for an artifact here. A bunch of rubber that I can't do anything with. Definitely excited to see what they bring in for, uh, for customization options. So we can go ahead and do shot power. I hate that you don't have the ability right now to view talents um, or to view traits because I don't know if 20 shot power is going to help a lot or only a little bit. Let's do weighted die though because I like the idea, especially early of having the option to re-roll. It's only going to be so much of an, adv an, of an advantage to us this time because we are going to be skipping a lot of the challenge games. So kind of loses some of its effect there. But uh, for the challenge games that we do have to play, and then obviously for our elite games and boss game, it will be super helpful. But not going to have the um, same amount of power as we've kind of used it in the past, but still nothing to scoff at if you have the chance to use it. The bouncing stick did not hit anybody. Able to strip the puck there. Almost didn't. We get Kelly with a little bit of speed. And... Nice to see that she still sucks. Not really sure what I'm doing. That was, I should not have been. I just kept chasing that guy trying to get the hit. That was a really bad play. That was a really bad play. I regret that a lot. That's gonna suck. So we already don't get our um, bonuses because we did not win that game. We don't have a re reward to reroll. We can train another 8 speed, so another 16 for a bench warmer, so that's kind of nice there. But uh, definitely hurts not getting that talent there. That definitely sucks. Let's not lose this elite game, because I don't want to try and get Cultist again. Again, this is the first time that we've seen him come up as an available um, player for us, I feel like. So it's going to be enough of a challenge, probably trying to hunt down Gideon too. So we'll have to see how all of that plays out. But... Hopefully not have to waste too, too much time on trying to get him after this playthrough. I wanted to pass it to Angus, but he didn't have a stick. That wasn't really going to be helpful. Right here. Stevie, good shot. There's our goalie. Oh, get out of my legs. Okay. Nope. That was a good shot. I have a third between the legs there. Glad he didn't get that. Oh, that was a light shot too, and he just ended up punching it, punching it back out to me there. Wanted to take away that pass. Wow, they almost deflected that in. That would have been crazy. There was a couple of faces there. Surprised the Prince is back there playing defense. That goalie, I don't know. Must have thought we were going to pass to Chris. We didn't. He exposed a huge hole on that side of the net. Oh, Stevie almost got him. Oh, a couple of really good chances there. We almost pulled him way out there. Oh, that one came 
coming back to bite us too. It's probably a good thing that one ended the period because I went to, uh, I realized that when I passed I was holding the down button so that might have passed it into the net or bounced it off a post or something that could have been pretty dangerous. Obviously 9-4, to four, so not a convincing playthrough so far at this point. But just going to kind of keep playing the game. Keep trying to shut this one down. Again, I feel like Chris Coltis is definitely the more difficult of our last two playthroughs here. So hopefully have no issues getting him kind of clean off the board here. And then we can clean things up and end it all off with Gideon. It's going to be interesting too because he's got an ability that you are not able to purchase and it's very specific to him, the kazoo. I don't remember what it does, but interesting to uh, see what that's all about afterwards. Another really good shot opportunity that they just kind of blocked away here. Wow. Nice save. Got to be careful, but don't want to play too careful. I just want to make sure that we can shut these guys down don't have a whole lot of margin for error here. Get out of my way, Prince. Okay. Uh, okay. one nothing. Not a very good game, but um, get the win. Can't complain about this. Would have been nice, though. Again, I, forget, I keep forgetting we do have Whistle on, so that's helping us plug through these games quickly here. Quick draw, I love quick draw. This is gonna go on Angus because he's already got rebound magnet. Bouncy McBounce would be super awesome if we can generate him some um, rebounds here. We're gonna do shot power just to continue getting the biggest bonuses there. Whatever the training is, that's what we're gonna do. Overall, as much as it's beneficial, I would much rather just keep plugging everybody's um, specific stats there because again, it is gonna raise the overall considerably. Got to see what we can do from further away here. Obviously, we have quick draw and rebound magnet on Angus. See if we are able to get anything done with that. Nice shot by Stu. There we go. Quick draw, already paying dividends here. And then rebound scoot out to Angus, and he had a nifty little bad angle shot, but it was enough to get the job done. I guess I really thought that was a good shot. That was uh, a very close chance. I guess again, though, I thought we were going to be able to take away some space. Ooh, ooh. There's a lot of stuff going on here all of a sudden. CV Louder with a nice puck strip. Goalie's back out to play. Rip it up the boards here. Flick it over to Stevie. Back over to the Colt man. Rory, good to see you, buddy. It's been a while. Good chance there. Oh, I wanted that to Angus. Don't want to screw this one up too much. Okay. Obviously, we weren't able to collect that along the boards there, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, pop this one back. It's amazing, actually, how much quicker um, Whistle of Time makes the games. I mean, mercies and stuff are great, but realistically, though, if you have Whistle of Time, because I'm thinking here, like, we are a little over 20 minutes into this playthrough and essentially already done Act 2, which is crazy to think, actually. Pretty quick so far. Obviously, we still have the boss game, which is going to be a little bit of a longer one if we aren't able to Mercy. But um, hopefully we can put him on a timer quickly. Let's see what this run ends up being. It doesn't look like, maybe there aren't evil versions for everybody. Maybe you can only be like a select few superstars there, so it kind of diminishes the return on that skill also. Again, just I feel like a lot of the skills and superstars are kind of pointless in this game, just kind of for something to spend rubber on, which is kind of disappointing. Nice shot. Good shot. Okay. 2-0, another very close game. So hopefully we get a chance to continue to build here as we go through to meet the golfers. Obviously first we have to get through cultists. 
I need a fast team. As much as these other two are fantastic, Goalie Dance is really only going to matter if we're able to get Bouncy McBounce. Briefcase, super beneficial, but I'll pick this up if we can get it later. Um, it's even more important if we get the opportunity to get Remarkable Rock, but Fossilized Star, I want to just make sure we're keeping pumping this speed because it's worked out for us pretty well before. Having a fast team against these guys helps us get in the lane of the golfers um, and take away a lot of shots, so helps bring a lot of offense too. Should have a very quick team. We're getting there anyways. Obviously our uh, last playthrough with having four rocket skates was probably the fastest team I will ever have put on the ice, but uh, all things considered right now and just kind of pumping base stats and using talents to continue bumping pace, base stats, we should be pretty good. Hoping to come out of this talent game with, or this challenge game with a talent. Obviously we botched that last one. And these are going to be crucial since we aren't doing talent games or challenge games very much. Nice little spin there. I don't know how I'm doing that. But uh, always nice when it happens. Kind of put me right in towards the goalie though, which I wasn't expecting. But Ah, Calvin. That yo-yo. Sometimes it comes right back to you and sometimes it's like you overskated or something. I don't know. But uh, that one did not work for us there. Angus going one on one with the great one, going side to side. Oh, and he gets it. Nice shot. Nice shot, Angus. Let's see what you did for your team here. What did we get as a talent? Something good. Something good. Rock skates. Okay, we already got a lot, a lot, a lot of speed. We have accuracy on Chris Caltus, but let's get him more speed. Stevie Louder is at 93 somehow. Oh, because of the uh, momentum. Okay, true. Okay. So everybody's like very fast. The only one who's lacking speed right now is Chris Cultus, but this 50 boost is going to put him up to 89, so that's going to be fantastic. Another 8 speed, so everybody is going to be prime. We have a very fast team on the ice here again. 95, 81, 86, 109. He's going to just continue to get faster. And uh, we have 47 here plus the 50. So we can't really have a faster team than we do. So hopefully we don't keep getting speed stats at this point. Obviously anything that uh, is going to raise just base speed attributes is not really going to be all that helpful at this point. I would imagine the return has to be diminishing at some point. I have not seen speed cap like uh, accuracy does. So we'll have to see kind of how that all works. But... What do we got here? What do we got? What do we got? Again, it's a good thing we don't have Remarkable Rock, but first shot of the game goes in already. That kind of sucks. Just a little weak one, but we should be okay. We better be okay. Lots of game to play. Obviously, our whistle isn't going to be going to uh, speed up time because we're losing, so that's kind of nice. Okay. Here. This is where speed is only going to get you so much. Could use some other talents here. But it definitely helps you get into the proper position. We just, there we go. Nice clean up by Angus. Again, quick draw and rebound magnet. Super helpful. Getting bouncy bounce. Bouncy McBounce, whatever it's called, would be awesome as well. That sucked. Should have just got that closer to the net and shot with Angus, but... I keep wanting to pass too far behind me right now for some reason. They, they took Caltus out of the play, but jokes on them. You can see we got frozen at the end of the at the end of that play, but they're gonna let us take the face off, which is always super helpful too. Ooh. We switch to Calvin right at the end there. Again, not sure if it's his accuracy we're using or if it's Chris Caltus, but whatever we did there, it worked. for Stevie to be able to take that one away. We are Rory now. Got a good couple of chances on the call fists. So we are starting to bury these guys. Angus does not want to take a proper face off. He's just striking poses. Bury these guys again. Nice little shot. Try and plug up as much of a lead here as we can. Good chance from Stevie. More so to generate a rebound there, but it was not enough. Stevie Louder, another good chance. Again, the speed is definitely helping us get some opportunities here for sure. 
but it would be nice if we had a little bit more talent just to kind of switch this up a little bit here. Would have been nice if we could have had one more second to actually take and make a real shot on that one. We ended up going high and wide. 20 to three for shots, probably the best period of hockey we've played after that first couple of seconds there, obviously. Little shot, but I'm back in with Angus. Ooh, Rory flattened us there. Was not expecting that one. Goalie's gonna come out to play it again because he's got nothing better to do. Board just sitting when he doesn't get a whole lot of action. Here we go, Kelly, nice and fast, but again, sucks. Angus here. Oh, I didn't realize I didn't have the puck. Nice little carve to the front of the net. Spring Angus here. Stevie, that was a really good shot. Obviously he doesn't have a stick now, so he's kind of out of the play. Trying to switch back to propeller head, but it wasn't letting me. Here we go, Chris Cultist. Nice little shot. We got Angus all frozen out here. Whoop. Probably could have just walked. Ooh. Probably could have just walked that over the line. Kelly beat me with a nice little speed beak there. I knew they were coming, I just could not dodge. Here we go, here we go. Ah, oh, Stevie. Ooh. Nice little chance there, didn't get it. Get out of here, Kelly. Kind of shot was that at the end of the period. 23 to three, totally fine. Had quite a goal uh, lead here, so. Shouldn't be too much of an issue. Hoping that we don't have to play the entire two and a half. Again, it's not two and a half because of uh, whistle time. It'll be like 1.15. But even still, looking to save time where we can save time. It's been a relatively quick playthrough so far. Whoa, bad pass. That's got various. Got really lucky there. Kind of got sandwiched between the double spawn there. Nice. Flatten. Get in the way of Kelly there. Spring Stevie Lout. Oh, come on, buddy. High and wide. Stevie Louder again, though. Ooh. Freddy. Level them. Get out of here with that. Forgot about Tomahawk. Oh, that was a good shot. Not gonna make a difference, but that was a good shot. And this is still running through faceoffs here. Weird how buggy he gets sometimes. Ah, oh, definitely some, a little bit of a hindrance when you're going too fast and over skate the puck. I think you have it on your stick, and uh, you do not. So three goal, three goal lead there. Pretty sweet, been playing for about a half an hour here and we are going to be into our uh, third act already. Could be sweet to get our bench warmers a shooting talent. I really want some accuracy too, if I'm honest, but at the same time, because we have not really been getting talents, I'm going to go companion puck just to give everybody a little something something. Let's see what we get, see if any of them are any good. We're gonna get three talents on that one artifact, so it's kind of pretty cool haul. X-ray shots, can't complain. Uh, that slowdown shot, I still don't know how much of a difference that makes. And Sonic Slap, don't really care for that one. Haven't really seen that one be a huge benefit to us yet either, so we'll see. Got another challenge game here, obviously. Another chance at a talent. Obviously, with a way to die, we have the opportunity to reroll if they suck. Hopefully, they don't. And hopefully, we get one. Oh, I thought I had that one. It's gonna go. Got their whole team pulled over here. Got a good rebounds there, but all just on that one side. There we go, Stevie. Here you go, you speedster guy. Whoop! Oh, goalie came out nice and blocked me off there. You can't fool Angus. Angus. Nice to see the guy that we spent so much time and poured so much rubber into is going to be uh, 
clutching down the stretch. Rebound magnet. I don't want to put it on two people because it's kind of be, going to kind of be counterintuitive at that point, and I don't really care for the other ones here. We have speed. Terrible. We're going to have some pretty pumped up overalls, honestly, when it's all said. I think we are fine to give Angus even Steven again if we play him at a minus 10 overall. Hopefully we have, well, we would have to have the lead. Or, I mean, I guess we could be losing. That would be an overall pretty crappy thing. But our guys are pretty pumped up. Cultus is pretty brutal, but obviously he is um, would be a little better with that additional 5, um, uh, with the additional 50 speed. But our overalls are all said pretty, pretty good. Not sure how confident I feel in this team. I don't feel bad about this team. It's just I've definitely played um, more exciting teams for sure. As much as I feel like going the attribute, attribute route is super important to just balance your team, it's definitely not as fun because you can really synergize some talents to just make you so hack and make the attributes almost worthless. But uh, there's a lot of fun though with, with talents. Still really like the game with attributes, but uh, the talents and artifacts are really what make this game a lot of fun. But sometimes you gotta just do what you gotta do. Again, our bench warmer started off really bad. Our cultist was really bad. So I just felt like it was important to be able to kind of boost those stats more than anything. You never know what you're going to get with talents, and some of them are kind of pointless if you don't have attributes. So depending on what you get, obviously, you kind of work hand in hand sometimes. But uh, yeah, 2 nothing lead. Nice to get a quick one there, and I guess. Doing pretty good about this game. If you sweep to Mercy, then it'd be an unexpected little Mercy because we again aren't super offensive. Got very lucky there for a quick bounce. Let's skip out of this one before the game has a chance to end here. The period has a chance to end even. Let's see what we get for a talent. These all suck. Let's re-roll. Probably even worse. We'll put Mega Deflect on McShaggy just in case he's in front of the net looking for something to do. We go ahead, go to our camp. Speed, the last thing we needed, I honestly probably could have and should have put on um, overall. You can see here, like, I don't know if we're really going to notice what a 111 speed is actually going to look like on the ice. Like, I don't know how you'd be able to differentiate 111 versus a 97 or 135. Like, come on. But, I mean, it is what we have. We're going to go into this game against the Mountaineers. I'm pretty sure this is the only team in this game that we have not lost to ever. So, feeling pretty confident about these guys. But, again, you never know. It would be nice to just shut them down, especially early. But we'll see how it goes. And then we have... I don't know if we're going to do the challenge game for a talent or if we do the camp one more time. Honestly, our overalls are pretty good. I don't know if I want to run the risk of getting um, speed again, so we'll probably do a challenge game for the kind of last chance at a talent before going against the golfers here. But pretty good. Like, all things considered, I mean, we're a fast team and we have whistle of time. If we were Mercy more, this would probably be like half an hour run. Right now, as it stands, we're just under about 40 minutes here, so still relatively quick. Again, all things considered, without uh, a whole bunch of shooting talents, obviously a very fast team. Whistle of time is really what's kind of helping out in a pinch here, but. We're definitely not going to do too much that for you or too much against you from the side of the net. So if you take away a pass option, as long as you don't miss the check, things get pretty hairy when you miss the check. But otherwise, you're in pretty good standing. Take a tomahawk. Yeah, of course, I missed that one. Haven't used it in a while. And I missed it. 14 to 3 for shots. So, okay. Get into the second period here. Let's see if we can polish this one off. These guys just are desperate to win the face off there. You can see how quick he's just mashing A. Trying to get the stick down. Good shot. Good shot. Come on, come on. Oh, 
Angus almost had that. Oh, he missed again. Come on. What kind of shot was that? Our goalie hasn't seen action at all, and he lets like the first one in. Better not sink us, my guy. Oh, I don't know if we saved the goal there or almost made it worse, but we got a nice little deflection there. Took some teeth out in the process, but. squeeze out another 2-1 win. Again, none of these wins have been super convincing. Kind of sucks, but we won. So, we'll take it. 22 to 6. What do we want? We want a reroll. Goalie dance I don't think is going to help us as much as it has in the past. We don't have bouncy McBounce, so the ability to generate rebounds is really what gives goalie dance its shine. Rare berry on the odd chance that we can win um, some face-offs. It's going to give us additional stats. Our overalls are pretty high right now, and I don't want to take the chance that we get speed. Um, so let's pop in, hopefully pick up another talent here. Speed is not I, – I don't see how it's going to make us any better at this point. We are very, very fast. So won that face-off. That's kind of nice. As long as we can win face-offs against the golfers, that's what it's going to come down to. Ooh, nice shot. Let's see what we get for our final talent here. Bouncing McBounce would be pretty sweet. We don't get that. I don't want any of these, so let's reroll. Oh, God. I don't want to take the chance that we have somebody pulled out of position with Cherry Picker, so let's just play it safe. We'll do defensive, uh, deflect. Put it on our quickest defender here, Stu, and hopefully he's able to kind of get in the lane and block that stuff up and just send the puck the other way here. So we don't have briefcase. We don't have remarkable puck. We do have the whistle of time. Nice to get this little face-off boost here, overall boost. Kind of getting hemmed into their corner already. I don't like this to start. We're very fast. We are getting into the lane to take away the puck, take away their passes, and uh, so that's kind of sweet. But we're having an issue in our own right getting to their net to be able to take a shot. Nice to have that opportunity there, though, with Angus. Simple little shot. Was coming back out to him. Chill out, goalie. There we go. Nope. Nice little opportunity there, though. I can't switch back to Angus. Don't want to pass into the sand because it's going to slow us down. Try and avoid that at all costs because that has sunk us before. Nice that we were able to get rid of or get around that. Ooh, nice little deflection off the foot of Chris Caltes. I thought he was going to screw us and, uh, and uh, block that shot, but it turned out to be a deflection. So that's sweet. Obviously, we have a minus 10 overall on uh, on Angus right now um, once the rare berry wears off. But because of even Steven, obviously, he's going to be playing a little lesser than he would be normally. But again, his overall is pretty good that we can kind of afford it. It's just uh, got to make a point to watch that. Just a lot of bad plays on this one here. We're lucky that we're as fast as we are because, again, it's giving us a chance to get into these lanes here. Whistle of Time could be what single-handedly wins us this game because it's going to just help us have to play less. So hopefully we can keep riding this. We make it through one period here. We know they're going to get stronger during this intermission. Far from some of our last golfer playthroughs, 13-2 um, to two for shots. We only have a one-goal lead, so... Starting kind of slow here. Would be very nice to make it a little less hairy. I didn't want that. That was right through the sand, right where we don't want to be. I'm just getting a couple of chances there. If there's any, got anybody going to be taking shots, he's the one that we want to do it. Got to watch with the deflections and stuff. We don't want to fool our own goalie here. 
was not able to generate a rebound. You can see that one just kind of dropped dead in the dirt. Bouncing off a bunch of legs right now. Stevie. Goalie tracked that one all the way down. Ah, oh, missed Tomahawk. Now Angus is out of the play. Oof. A good little bounce by them. Angus is going to get his overall back. The whistle is going to not be in play at this point because we're tied and not leading. Come on, Angus. Or Stevie. Or Stu. I don't care. Get, what are you doing back there? Wow. Okay, we'll take that. He was locked up at the top of our screen. Just in that slap shot animation, you could tell it was so slow. I forgot he has that change up where it changes speed, so it must fool the goalie, but I just have a hard time seeing what it actually does for us. It must just be more so something to kind of fool the goalie there, kind of like a curveball would. The curveball is pretty easy to see when it's actually being used, so let's see, we are um, having the whistle play to our advantage again here. One more period, let's lock this one down. Try not to play stupidly. Try and run down as much of the clock here as we can. Hopefully get another one just to kind of solidify this lead a little bit. Play with a little bit of a cushion. See if that's possible. Good shot, Rory. Just keep this in their zone at this point. As long as we keep shooting. Good shot. There we go. We need that. We need that big time just to help prevent some goofs there. Come on. Good shot. Really chancy trying to take that body there, but I did not want a rebound opportunity coming out to them. We had Frankie going again with another slapper back there. Good slap again from, Fran uh, from Stevie. Okay. Good. Good. Just keep disrupting long enough. Wow, we got shredded there. I did not think we had the puck, but we were able to strip again. That's a very good shot. I'm just going to clear this one, get this out of here. Wow, he's got so much accuracy that that was actually a shot on net. Obviously, they cover it up. We're going to have a face-off down in their end. Ooh, that should be enough to save us here. Freddy Kowalski, thank you very much. Who would have thought a guy who hasn't scored for us really at all in this playthrough was going to come up being the hero? And we are going to bury this one. Let's go. Okay. 4-1 win. Again, not the most convincing run, but um, about 45 minutes to run through that one. And again, and that was a pretty subpar team with a subpar superstar. Would not be the biggest advocate for um, Chris the Cultist, but it is what it is. You can see he's all lit up now on our final mural. We have our last skater here, our last superstar. Very likely going to take us a couple of abandoned runs unless the game just knows that we're looking for um, referee Gedeon Mustache. Let's see if we can pull him out of his hole here. Again, I'm looking forward to using him because he's got an ability that we have not used before and he is very well balanced. I'm going to go Tomahawk again here. Yeah, so we're gonna have to abandon this run. We do not have anybody. It's not gonna matter who we pick as a superstar here. Not gonna matter. Of course, we get some really good bench warmers there, but not gonna matter. At least the artifact sucked. Spawn in here really quickly and just reset this. I wish you could just reset it on the superstar screen, but you have to kind of go through the motions here. Abandon this run, get me out of here. It's probably going to take us a couple of times. Like I said, that was the first time that I had seen Chris the Cultist and the first time I feel like that I had seen Gideon Mustache. So I'm hoping this doesn't um, doesn't take too, too long. We'll put timestamps in the video, though, in case you guys don't want to sit around and watch this mess of trying to pull him out of the hole here. going to put Dash on. Still no Gideon Mustache. So we're going to just spawn in with Cam. Who cares about bench warmers? Again, of course, we get some really good bench warmers there the way of it uh, a can of worms and odd fungus I would have been super down for but we are abandoning this run get back out of here Let's go to the start again dash I will happily take that don't need any of these guys 
no, no. Bench warmers aren't bad there. Weren't as good as we've been getting, but they weren't bad. I would have taken Companion Puck. It's been a while since we've gotten a chance to start with that. Would have taken Rubber Band too, honestly, with accuracy, but I feel like our bench warmers weren't too bad. So they probably didn't need that a whole lot. Abandon this run. Of course, all the time that we saved on that first run, we are going to spend trying to get Getty and Mustache to show his face. I'll take Tomahawk, sure. There we go. Gideon Mustache. So here you can see decent checking, nearly 40 or nearly 50 accuracy, good shot power, and pretty decent speed to start. He also has the kazoo, so I have to double check what that is, but we will pop in um, when we get into the game here. You can see not terrible bench warmers. Obviously, Char Carlos Chicos is having uh, a little bit of a rough day. Accuracy is going to be something that we need to focus on, but nice to see that Freddy has studly accuracy to start that and speed. So he is definitely going to need to be our winger here to start. Yeah, he's got really good speed and really good accuracy. The other two are going to serve as our defenders. Okay, I already don't remember what we needed. We can go ham on this one and have Angus go get double. Sure. Let's do that. Let's go Angus heavy this time. I hope that doesn't bury us, but let's go Angus heavy this time. So we're going to train overall. Angus is going to get six overall. Everybody else is going to get three overall. So slowly pull these guys out. Again, this is one, This one's going to be kind of attribute heavy, but even with having fossilized star and a 20 speed boost would have been attribute heavy. Obviously, tribal mask two is attribute heavy and you have to be losing for it to take effect. Um, very seldom are we going to be losing in this, so it's more of a trait or an artifact that I would use just as some added insurance towards the end of the game. Shouldn't really be much of a factor in this one. I forgot to double check that Freddy was our winger. Very clearly we can see that he is, but uh, we will, before the next game, just kind of go over what the kazoo does because I'm curious um, for my own thing here. Get out of here. What about Gideon? Good shot. Nice, powerful shot. Get out of the way, ref. Nice. Good shot with Angus here. His boy, La Moustache, setting that one up nicely. Let's see what our first talent is. Wild shot, enraged, or slugger. Let's go um, enraged. When Angus is knocked down, he is going to get an additional 50 overall, which is going to be filthy. Okay, so Kazoo, uh, opponent loses the puck in a radius. Okay, so it's got nothing to do with goals. That'll be interesting to see how that works. Obviously not really sure what the radius looks like. I think with this one too, we're gonna move Shaggy to the wing just to get him um, involved a bit more here. Again, we know we need to be training overall as opposed to last time where we were doing the training. We need to rest. Angus again is gonna get six and everybody else is gonna get three overall. Angus is going to be beastie. Probably, in hindsight, should have put Enraged on La Moustache because Angus is going to be built up pretty quickly. But, uh, yeah, he's going to be a force. A couple opportunities there. Okay. Cheated his horn there, and he just lost the ability to control the puck, so that's sweet. Good shot with Angus here. Got to remember that we have Tomahawk 2 to get us out of a pinch. Maybe open a little bit of ice. Get out of here with that. Angus. Ah, oh, good poke check from the goalie. Usually they don't come out like that. If they do, they uh, bite way hard and uh, miss us, but that was a good poke check. Oh, I missed that tomahawk. That was brutal. Take away that option there. Everything gets caught up in the stick. Probably didn't need to turn away from them, but uh, we did. And got me caught flat. I just ran into a wall of people there. Ooh. Weird couple of bounces there. And just like that, travel mask would have been pretty nice. But again, on the flip side of that coin, Angus is a beast. Take some legs out. Always sucks when a good shot is blocked like that. You don't really get it anywhere. Get out of here. Oh, bad pass. Tried to pass it in front of the net there. Did not get anything on it. Obviously went right into the skates. Can't even complete a pass right now. 
tried to use that on the goalie. I don't think it works. He was just in the middle of passing anyways. Come on, Calvin. Ah. Uh, the goalie just followed me to that side. Angus got up nice and quick. Obviously, he's enraged right now, so he's going to have an additional 50 overall. He's going to be even more of a menace to deal with. Oh, okay, his enraged is done. I wanted to flip it back to him just so he could rip a nice little shot there, but did not matter. Uh, ooh, good shot. Good shot, get him. Oh, okay. We aren't as far ahead as I would have liked to have been, but uh, wow, 5-5 five, five for shots. One going into the second. Pumps all caught up on skates here. Definitely needing some talents to just speed this along. God, feels so slow compared to what we were just playing. It's amazing actually how weak your team feels in earlier acts before you're able to start stacking and really synergize. It's a good thing that Angus has stats because that basically is plugging us through this game here. Might be able to get that uh, Offensive balanced achievement, whatever, whatever that one's called. I think we have a um, we have a goal with each one of our forwards right now. We just got to try and get one with each of our defenders. See if we can get that. It's going to be pretty hard to do with Carlos Chicos. And again, because this is a game that has mercy rule and um, and uh, only two periods, but let's we'll see. We're winning right now, so I can afford to experiment a little bit. Not going to make a quick run, but it'd be sweet if we could clean this up in this playthrough here. You can see it's getting me pretty pulled out of position. Oh, 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 oh. I got to be careful. Got to be careful. Duck Kilmore is not one to screw with. to go back to the blue line. Wow. Okay, gotta just lock this down here. Doug Kilmore came to play on their team. So did Angus. Let's just get out of this game at this point. Not try and get uh, our defensemen a goal because their team is too fast for our guys right now. So. Just like that, we put these guys to sleep. And see them. Nice to, that. nice to get that one. Quick draw, don't mind what you do. already know what's going on, Angus. Go do a challenge game, get some more talents here. Bouncy McBounce would be super sweet to start with on this. Or, I mean, I would take Rebound Magnet. Obviously, we have that as an option right now, but Quick Draw is kind of a fundamental piece in getting those to work. I would have jumped on rebound magnet first or over quick draw, I think, if we had um, bouncing McBounce already, just to make sure that we are able to corral those rebounds. But okay. done that last game. Well, I'll take the talent from this one. Momentum. Sure. Let's get some speed. Get some speed on the moustache. Pop into our Meatballs Elite game here. Let's see how this one goes. 
was winning that face. I know that for sure. I kept fighting and we weren't getting it. Definitely thought that was going in. Slapping with Angus and it's pretty hard to miss. Oh, God. That was just a pretty weak shot from far out, but yeah. Nice to get that stick back. That was cool. Yep, sorry, bud. Stole it. Because he was actually pretty good. It's kind of like Dragon Shout, but it uh, doesn't cost as much and doesn't affect you, so that's kind of nice. You're guaranteed to strip them of the puck. Uh, you're not necessarily guaranteed possession, so I guess that's part of the part of the deal. But neither you aren't on Dragon Shout and you aren't on um, on Disco either. And both of those affect your actual player, essentially taking them out of the play. At least with La Moustache, you are you have the ability to uh, go after the puck. You just hopefully you're in the vicinity of where it was lost, but. Goalie keeps tracking us pretty well, not really giving us much to shoot at right now. Had a pretty good couple of slap shot chances, but just can't get the goalie to bite. Tried to pull on the other side there, but that didn't work either. There you go, take what? That sucks. I definitely thought he was gonna pass, so we took out his option in front of the net, but Adam Gravy buried one on us. Have to get Angus up and involved in this. That stick didn't do anything. Not feeling as confident in this one as I started. That's for sure. Thank you, Giddy. I know it's premature, but we're getting scored on a lot right now compared to previous playthroughs. Again, it's still early, but um, we're getting scored on a lot games have been a lot closer. Ooh. Wow, that should not have been a shot. We got a goal. Should not have even been close to counting. Oh, that was a pretty cool rebound. 15 to 4 for shots, and it's actually a very close game. Uh, too many people there that they were able to pick it up right after. Come on. Just such weird bounces there. It's a good thing that was early in the period. Oh, and we have a lead, or we had a lead. Okay, I didn't realize that actually, so that's kind of nice. Okay, that was nice and quick. Restore that lead. Again, we don't have listed time or anything, so it's not a huge, huge deal, but obviously we want to play with the lead. Get that out of here. Try, can't get that out of feet right now. There it is. Yeah, make the goalie look silly, you goofball. The set. Get out of here with that. Nice clap. Hardy Kowalski, the killer. Have we scored with everybody in this game? Except for that other defenseman? Where's Chicos? Where you at, Chicos? Nope, 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 I don't want you. Oh yeah, bad, bad. Uh, nice shot, goofball. All right, Chicos, let's see what you got. Oh, come on. That was close. Chico's again. Ripping, ripping, ripping. Oh, get out of the way. Chico's. Oh, no. I'm going to try and spring him once more. Get out of there, goalie. Where is he? He's going up with Angus. Going up with Angus. Oh, weak. A weak little flubber shot. Let's see if we can get this to Chico's again. Come up with us, Goofy. Right my way, get him. Yeah! Did we get it? Did anybody score? No? I don't know who doesn't have a goal. Who the hell didn't we score with? That sucks. Detail. Ah, oh, Ricky Kirby, right. That was the talent game that he scored. Ah. Oh. Damn. Okay, well. 
Nice to know it's possible. Ooh. Remarkable Rock's awesome, but I'm not feeling confident right now with this team to be able to get the first goal every time. So let's do Odd Fungus and try and interject some speed into this game here. Again, obviously a talent would be super nice to get, but we are going Angus Heavy on this one. Let's do Rest as much as accuracy would be nice. Again, we're not going to get bonus stats if we do um, training, so we did Rest again. We are against the Officials. See if we can get a nice little goal here. Yeah, I knew that was a bad, bad spot to shoot at. Okay. Ooh. And they aren't bringing that one back, so we have scored with Angus now. Let's see who else we can get involved in here. Not gonna worry about too much worry too much about scoring with our defensemen until we can get all of our wingers or all of our forwards with a goal. Unless they just happen to be up in the play, but I doubt it. They're too crappy right now. We are getting pelted, though. These guys are everywhere. Good shot. Trying to have Angus create some passing plays here. Oh, God. flub on that one. Goalie, what are you doing, buddy? Haven't we had this conversation every playthrough? Oh, yeah, you can see Odd Fungus basically gave us a dash there, nice little speed boost. Got Getty in a goal. Kirby, you want to come up, bud? You want to try your luck? No, you don't want to break away. Fred, that was close. Got him parked in front of the net there. Okay. Clapping bomb. Chico, he's giving to give it a go. Chico's is still hanging out up front here with us. Uh, they lost possession just to get it back. Chico's again. Okay, Freddy. Oh, ooh. Uh, we don't need another one to get in. Get out of here, Freddy. Oh, Chico's. Chico's putting his... Oh, he was putting some heat on. Good chance there. Flick it out to propeller head. Come on, Freddy. Here you go again, bud. Oh. Get out of here. Here we go again. Got to get him a pass in front of the net with some speed. Oh, no, no. No. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was in. Nope. Close, though. Here we go. Try this again. Nope. Damn bench warmers. Yeah, eat that one. Run guy, run guy. Getting shots, getting chances. Oh, oh, Chico's with a chance. Okay. Getting chances, just not with the right people, you can tell. Because they can't bury him. These guys do not have stats. 20 shots, okay. Don't need to get in. Who else is going to come up here? Freddy? Very. Let's go. Okay. Pretty good so far. Now we got to have our defenders come up somehow. Involved. Oh, that was a waste of zoo. Come on. Come on. Goalie dude, chill, bro. Come on, Kirby dude. Oh. No. Come on, Chicos. I need orange helmet and goalie ox. Oh, he doesn't have shot power. Those are going to be some tough shots, but he's not going to be able to get to the net, I don't think, close enough. I need you here, my guy. Oh, she goes. Oh, got to watch too. It's going to be very tough scoring with defenders because uh, 
our forwards are going to be buzzing around the net the whole time. We've got to make sure that they don't get a deflection. Oh, just like that. It wasn't a deflection, but he got a nice little rebound, batted over the air. Still possible to get this, but um, it's going to be a little harder because we might end up mercying these guys before we're able to get the goals. Oh, it was almost a deflection again. Oh. Come on, Kirby, come up. No. She goes. Oh. Just throwing a couple of weak ones on. Don't really have much of a chance there with that, but it's fine. team has to get behind getting Chico to go here. Got to try really hard. We got to get that orange helmet involved. We got a full period here, but he has to get the next goal. Otherwise, we're going to end up mercying these guys. It's almost beneficial if they get a goal from us because uh, if we get a deflection here on Chico's, we're screwed. Get a goal. Get a goal, you guys. Where's Chico's? Oh, I thought that was in. That went just up and over. That was right on, but that went just up and over. All right, we're going to try hard. Let's go, Chicos. Let's go, Chicos. Oh, get a goal. That'd be fine. I'm fine with that. Where are you? Here we go. Go the way, Angus. Oh, his accuracy is going to be brutal. Get out of the way! Stay up there, Chicos. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. Try this again. Spring him. Go back. Get that speed boost. Oh. Not a bad shot, but just no real angle. Not very threatening at all. Didn't see that one coming, did you? Chicos, let's get you up in here again, buddy. Oh. Get up. No. That's okay. Oh. Ooh. Oh! I did not expect. There was so much space that opened up there. Wow. Come on. There are so many people here. Where are you, Chicos? No. Oh, get in there. No. A minute left to make this work. Oh! Lost that angle pretty quickly. His accuracy and his shot power is going to be a killer for us right now. Okay, that's fine. Okay, totally fine. Now we at least get, I mean, the odd tip or something that goes in, we're not going to mercy, so that's good, actually. Okay, try this again. Gotta get him some speed. How the hell did you pick that off? Where's Chico's at? He was here. There you are, buddy. Oh no! I was trying so hard to get a rebound. Oh wow. Oh, Chico, buddy. You suck, man. Where is he? Oh, dang it. I'm gonna take you to camp, buddy. How are you so bad? We did know actually that he is our worst bench warmer, but it is very evident. Where are you? We got one more chance, make this work. Oh! Brutal. Brutal. We'll have more chances. <laughs> Hopefully the next boss game we can uh, we can get a chance there. Hopefully he's a lot better by then. That was painful. 
tried really hard. Don't want Whistle of Time. As much as I do, I want to try and get that achievement, and I'm going to need time to do it very clearly. So we're going to get Always Win Face Offs. Nice to always start with Possession. Rare Berry would really help at this point. Um, let's see what we can get for a talent here. Start of Act 2. Again, obviously these challenge games and the elite games we're going to be trying to blow through, but I don't want to blow through the um, boss games because I'm trying to clean up that balanced offense achievement. That'd be pretty dope. We were so close that last time. We just needed a challenge helmet to score. We were so close earlier also. We just needed what the heck's his name to score. Put us on La Moustache. Yeah, you can see Chico's with 11 accuracy. That is hurting. But we need more boosts on overall there, so continue pumping that up a little bit. Take the princesses to school. I don't really care so much about who's scoring in this one. I'd rather just kind of get in and get out. Obviously, the Mercy is at four goals anyway, so likely not going to be able to get balanced offense on this since there's five players unless they get a goal but gonna hopefully have that not happen so we'll just play god who's down here come on yeah how you like all that oh angus there you go. Clementine's gonna hate me. Come on. Goalie. Buddy, I can get that, okay? Ooh, good job. powerful. Oh. No, that was close. Got some good chances here. Wow, he got a strong face. What? Slap. Slap. Yep. Ooh, that was good. There we go, finally, we worked hard enough for that goal. Oh, rearrange some teeth for you. Angus the dentist. Okay, Let's see if we can skip out of this one. Diving save. Oh, I wanted to pass. I was shooting. I wanted to pass. That's the biggest part of the game. There we go. Yeah, I guess. Nice shot. Get it yet. Nice shot again. Mercy. That's sweet. Nice and early in the second period here. X-ray shot, sure. Put that on McShags. Why are we in edit lineup? I didn't do that. We will do overall again. What are we sitting at right now? Why can't I hit X? My X button's broken. <laughs> I cannot all of a sudden go to lineup. I was curious to see what our overall was. It's a good thing I don't need X for anything in this game except for viewing lineups. But I don't know what happened there. Okay. Ouch. Ooh. 
Oh, how do you like that? Angus enraged the additional 50. He was not missing that from right there. Especially with quick draw. He was not missing that. Ouch. Level. Flat. Everybody. Carnage. Oh. Oh, what's up, Chicos? You want to be, uh... Yeah, get out of here, Prince boy. Oh, ho, ho. the hands in Angus. Nice job. Oh, rock. Chico's diving headbutt. Nice. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, wow, wow, we will. <laughs> Rearrange the prince's teeth, too. Cross track right to the head. Whoop. I was going one way, and then, uh, I wasn't. Get out of here, Prince. Oh. Ooh. I didn't even see that guy back there. I, didn't, I had no idea who he was passing to. Come on. Ah, oh, I couldn't feel that goal. He knew I was too bad. Chicos, come on, buddy. You still got a ways to go yet. Good job. Oh! That was some brutality there. That was some carnage. 16 to 0. Okay. That was just one period. We do have a two goal lead. Sweet. Angus is feeling filthy again. Yep. Look at that laser beam. Didn't even see it. He's going to have like overall 150 when he's in rage pretty soon because he's going to be so beefy from the camps. Come on. Whoa. Check him. What are we waiting for? Nice. Good block. Just over to the Gideon. Angus with a ripper. Spring. Boom. Very fast. Nice. Mercy the Crusaders. Nice to clean up that one. God, I can't wait to spend some rubber. 20 to 0 for Shaw's completely left that messed up. We will do. We want. We want to stick? Sure. Zebra Hoof helps. This keeps just putting me hitting X now. And then when I want to hit X, I can't. Okay, so Carlos Chico is very clearly still needs some accuracy. Our overall Angus is filthy. 87 and then plus 50 in rage or when he gets back up. So he's going to be essentially uh, 137 overall. Yeah, could be worse. Could be worse. See what we can get for a challenge here. I wonder if it's my controller that's screwed up or if the game's that's bugged with the X button. But again, like I'm glad you don't really need it for anything, but uh, I all of a sudden cannot hit X. And it just automatically loads my lineup at the end of every game. Not the worst in the world. But, um, oh God, these suck. Are you checking? Yeah, I can't even hit X to view roster. I don't know what's going on. Okay, but we'll put Slugger on Nick Shaggy just because. And we are loaded up into this again here, obviously. Okay. We will do overall again. And we are against the Cup Cultist. So this game, we're going to essentially only have Angus probably half the time. They're going to be doing the majority of freezing between him and Gideon. So we got to make use of them while we have them. Let's see if we can get uh, see if we can get 
get some random goals here. Oh. See the first of all I'm able to get with my forwards. Uh oh. Oh, sorry. Oh, I came to the rink. Oh, yeah, right. Greasy stick. Oh, nobody has a stick now. Oh, Chico's flying down like a savior here. Oh, God. I don't know. oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Goalie, get back in net. You got a hike, my guy. I don't want to take the chance that the goalie's in net because he's probably not. That guy was far out. Let's try and buy him some time so he can uh, kind of twiddle his way back there. Oh. He better be in the net. Okay, good. Felt like we bought him enough time, but that was insane. Oh, okay. Chico's with a nice uh, setup. That's cool. Hanks was going to score anyways, but... Oh, okay. So we got all of our forwards up in the play now here. See what we can do with our defenders. We're gonna be, uh, it's gonna be even a little tougher because we don't have, uh, we can't have Chico's do slap shots. I mean, his power sucks anyways, and so does his accuracy. So he's probably gonna need to be at the front of the net anyways. But uh, oh, Kirby, like this. Oh, close. have them have an option come ripping up the slot. Yeah, Kirby, I'm cool with you. Let's go, buddy. Oh, good shot. He gloved it, but good shot. Ouch. Appreciating the fact that they're losing their sticks actually right now because it's a little bit of a level playing field here. If we can't slap, neither can you guys. Let's go defenders. I'm gonna take some inspo. Alright. Oh yeah, right. There's your stick. Where's Kirby at? Hey bud. It's like a dirty wrister from here. Oh wow, we almost had them pretty screwed up on that. Nice. Oh no! Freddy? Idiot? Try this again, bud. Oh, ho, ho. roundhouse. Alright, Freddy, superstar. Don't you like doing everything on your own? Okay, where are we here? No, 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 wrong guys. Okay, man, put the bats down. No, no, Freddy. Like my tomahawk did not work. God. Here we go, Chico's. Let's go, bud. Puck on the stick. Oh, oh, weak. Oh, oh. I was very impressed with him to be able to re, re get that, uh, collect that again. No! Oh! That kazoo. Friggin' kazoo. Alright. At least her races. Friggin' Freddy screw up. No! That's what we need, though. We need a couple of good passing plays. Chico's get in front of the net, G. Oh! Why would you slap that, fool? Uh, here we go. Chico's get back up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spring that, spring that. Oh! Here we go. Oh! Oh, there goes the stick. Oh. There we go. Oh. oh. No, no. Come here. Oh, I should have pulled it in a little more. That's what I'm doing. What are you doing? Oh. Yeah! 
out, Chicos! Let's go! All right, Kirby, it's up to you. You're better than that guy, so let's go, Goldilocks. Oh, yeah, we just need to get you a rebound. Backhand. Oh, oh very close. Oh, keep going. Oh, pick that up. Shoot! Oh, very close. I don't care. Oh, okay. Oh, I wanted that to go to Kirby, but it didn't. We got to be careful. We only have next goal to uh, shut this one down here. 47 shots. Oof, that was a pounding clinic. All right, Kirby. I'm hoping that these guys are able to get another goal or Kirby's able to get one clean because if we get a deflection, we're screwed. Just... It's hard to open the net up completely here, though. Oh, no. Of course he's frozen. All right. Well, you guys don't want to come at me. It's fine. It's pretty easy to just wind the clock down. If I had whistle at time, this is like the cheapest strategy. I'm going to try this on expert. Oh! <laughs> oh! Actually, it would be better if you guys scored, so... Kirby, where are you at? Goldie. Here we go. Oh, good shot. No. Yeah. Oh, whoa. Yeah, not today, Rory. Oh, oh. Oh, let's go. Balanced offense. Let's go. Oh, nice one. Let's go. That is awesome. Ooh, I'm so stoked on that. That was a team effort, that one. Holy. Okay, let's get Tribal Mass just in the odd case we're losing. I don't feel super confident in this team just because we have been scored on quite a bit. Ooh, that feels good. That feels good. So with this episode, we should be able to completely round out all of the achievements in this game. We will have 100% in this game because there's nothing for beating Expert. Um, but I do want to just complete this series with an expert win. So that's kind of what we'll be going back and trying. Obviously, we've spent a long time kind of working up and trying out some different strategies, trying out some different superstars, abilities, all that, artifacts, just kind of really trying to figure out how we like to play, who's better, who does what, um, and really kind of put together that dream kind of fantasy team to be able to get us through expert here redirector we're gonna put that on McShaggy too just because the guy is coming in clutch and doing everything i hate that it keeps just clicking o uh, x for me but it is what it is his overall is going to be so nasty though if we get rare berry this is going to be game over but we are getting a lot of overall attribute boosts their berry would be a nice finish. Oh man, I can't believe we had balanced offense on that. That's so cool. Because our uh, defense would suck. Kirby's pretty tight. But Chico's, come on, guy. He sucks. Nice to have the opportunity to get a slap shot again, though. Trying to toot my horn on that guy, but it would not let me. Oh. oh, I wanted to go up to Angus. He was ripped. You can still see he's still pissed. Oh, oh. Come on, man. There we go. Yeah. She goes. Nice. Diving. Head save. I don't know what the hell I was doing with that. That shot. Oh, that would have been sweet to do that into the net. It would have made him lose possession like that. That would have been cool. I like the shout. Get off. Man. Oh, how'd you not pick that up? Get out of here. Good shot. Wow, that was a ripper. Uh oh. Chicos, get out of here. No. Oh, what? 
out. That speed boost killed me there. Wow, we almost got buried. Okay, 16 to two for shots. Gideon, somebody do something. Good shot again, good shot again. There we go. Of course. Magnus, let's go. Big shag daddy, putting the team on the back. No time to waste. Wow, nobody's there. Oh, thanks for the grapple hook. They gave me a sweet angle. gets his team out of here nice and quick. See what talent we can scoop up here. Clicking, 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 28 to four. Express delivery, yep, don't mind if I do. Let's put this on our fastest defender, which is somehow Chico's now. I don't even know how that happened, but let's go ahead. Okay, oh, my X button's fixed, nice. Continue to train overall. So we are at 105 overall, which is filthy. It's going to be essentially 155 with Enrage. I don't think that actually works like that. I don't know. There has to be some sort of cap. There has to be, but like even still, if you have over over 100 overall, like I just again, I just don't know how you would be able to distinguish in this game. If you have one player who is 155. I just don't know how you lose. I mean, obviously, again, if he spends the whole time on the on the ground or something, but that one. Angus is going to get credit for that because I guess he was standing in where the goalie was. Ouch! Yeah, you get the disco ball. I got my kazoo. Okay. I'm not sure why it wasn't a whistle, but boom! Like should have been in. Overall, 105. Shouldn't be missing. Sweet pass. Oh, okay. Wow. We got double ball there, I think. Get out of here with that. Music sucks. Boom. Yeah, that was a bad angle, but like still. My shot power is phenomenal. Accuracy is phenomenal. Speed is out of this world. Ooh. Good chance, good chance. Okay, here, Oswald. Oh, what? Oh, yeah, Angus. Show him what up. Come on. What the hell is that? 105 overall. Overkill. Absolutely overkill. can't tell me that there is a clear distinction between 105 overall and 100. I would not believe you. Doesn't mean there's not. Very clearly better than an overall 50, but I want to see a 100 square off against an 80 and see really where the difference is. Come on now. Get off me. chance there that one sucked but we are winning and we like it come on bad pass okay. 
She goes this fast. Yep. Boom. Back in. Sniper. And just make crack, daddy. <laughs> out of here. Yep, take briefcase for sure. All those other ones sucked. Train overall just one more time because why not? 110. Yep, seems about right. 110 speed, 110 shot power, 100 accuracy, and 116 checking. I want to see what that looks like with an additional 50. It's probably a waste, but we have two really good superstars, somewhat balanced uh, bench warmers here. Let's see how we go. We didn't end up getting Rare Berry, which kind of sucks, but we should always start with Possession, which is awesome. On the odd chance we lose, we're going to get an additional 25 overall to the entire team also. So hopefully we don't have to face that, but uh, Angus should be pumping. Gideon should be pumping. Let's get them involved early. Shut these guys down. Obviously, we don't. it doesn't matter who scores in this one um, in terms of players because we got that achievement already now. So... I know obviously that was a focus of our last playthrough on the golfers because there's no mercy rule and it's probably easiest to get on this match. But uh, we were able to get it before, which is super dope. Nice shot. How the hell did you end up in this lead? That was brutal. Oh yeah, I don't even know how you were able to check me. I am, should be invincible. Good. Wow, Gideon got leveled. Said, hell no. So we don't have whistle of time. It's going to be a pretty long game here. So we're just going to put on a clinic. We're not going to get nearly as many shots as we have in the past. I still can't get over that, sh that game where we had 151 shots against these guys. Scored 22 goals. Would have been way more if I uh, didn't stop just shooting with Angus. I was trying to get the achievement even then. Oh, this close. Oops, sorry. Ooh, ooh. Boom! Nice save. How the heck did that not hurt you? Good one. I think I just ran over a little bit there. This game is aggressive. Nice little reflection. We are fast though. We are all over these guys. Like they can't really do anything, which is pretty sweet. We already have a couple of goals, so and we have briefcase, so pretty confident that we're gonna lock down the win on this one, but. Still quite a bit of hockey left to play. But we are, again, just putting on a shot show. Not really giving them much. And just taking everything here. <laughs> Angus is a machine when he's enraged. Coming across, so did I. So I decided not to. Good shot, Gideon. Earning your paycheck, bud. Okay, that's one period done. 31 shots to one. I'd be pretty embarrassed if I was on my team. Again, the speed is helping us get in front of everything that they're trying to do. Um, our shots are considerably lower than uh, that one game just because we don't have all of the rebound abilities that we had before, but we are not letting them shoot a whole lot. We've got it pretty well locked down. The speed is um, helping us get in front of everything that they're trying. So. Oh, 
what? Wow. Let's have a really good sandwich on intermission. Wow. Look at that it sounds like he broke his twig. Sweet as could. Get in what you got. Oh, of course it's Angus. What? Yeah, that little ringer. Chico's level of the year. Wow, nice little backhand. Surprised they got that. Oh. Get out of here. I'll put you with the police. All that hard work pay off. Strung together a good couple of playthroughs in this series here. Got some cool team um, dynamics. Figured out some skills that I like and ones that I don't, and realized that I really don't like playing with skills too much anymore, if I'm being completely honest. Don't really need them. Attributes and talents are way more beneficial than skills ever are. Some might come in handy in a pinch. But again, they, I don't believe personally, are going to help you. Um, it's not what's going to win you your expert play. It's going to be everything else. So I would rather have a superstar that does not have a talent or does not have an ability, sorry, ability, skill, however you want to phrase it, but, uh, and just elect for ones that have a good talent. I would love to put something together with Cam Amber because he already starts with Bouncy McBounce and obviously we have found that that is a very reliable play style provided you can get the other supporting um, kind of attributes or uh, artifacts and stuff that you need to make that viable. But uh, Cam would be a very intriguing option to build personally our expert runaround. Now that we've had a chance to try him, and it's nice because he's available in the early game and for relatively cheap. I think he's like 10 or 15, so he's actually very cheap. I would r highly recommend purchasing him over buying a skill and just giving him a go. Now, whatever, you can be proud, I'm fine with that. Wedge Whacker. I feel like the only one who ever scores on this is Pam Pumper. So. I didn't even know they had a red whacker on the team. But yeah. The next, uh, we'll be back to our regular kind of playthroughs here now. Kind of trying to steamroll on Expert and really trying to hone in on the perfect strategy. I think it's really going to be trying to carry through what we learned here in playing on casual, trying to replicate that in the process and um, just seeing how viable that is in Expert. Obviously, the last couple of expert playthroughs that we had done, we had made it the furthest that we ever did. I don't even remember what we used at this point. I feel like, though, it was a variation of that rebound um, kind of setup that we had, but it's just really perfecting that. Um, again, a lot of that is luck. You don't really have a choice in kind of what you get, but just knowing that it is a viable option, that's already kind of what got us as far as we did, but... At the same time, though, you just control so much of the play when your people are spitting out rebounds, if they're able to collect, if they have time and space, and you're able to handle the other team's movement when you're shooting. It makes you pretty hard to beat. Very enjoyable play. Um, play style, play through was that um, rebound heavy 
the, uh, the new bounty that we set up that we had. That was with uh, Sergey and uh, Joan. If you haven't seen it, I would highly recommend that you watch even just the uh, loadout that we had with Sergey because honestly, if we had a, a better superstar, that would have been even crazier. Um, but just like that, though, we get a nine, I don't know what that was, a nine-something win over these guys. We have almost a 1,000 rubber, I guess almost 900. 72 shots, nothing to scoff at. You can see here, we get the from tape to tape achievement. Our mural is going to be fully completed there with Gideon La Mustache um, filled out. And just like that, we have completed... 100% of this game. Everything is purchased that we can purchase. We have a stockpile of rubber for when they do release some new content. Hopefully some really cool customization options that are going to require rubber. Just give me something cool that I can spend my hard-earned rubber on. I don't care if it's cosmetic at this point. I just want something that's going to be pretty cool to be able to spend rubber on. Um, I feel like there's a lot of different superstars in this game already, so I don't know if adding more is really the going to give it the... Um, appeal or that additional edge that by the time this content is released I don't know if that's going to be enough to kind of breathe some new life into this game um, I am excited for the campaign rework to see what that looks like that would um, kind of alter some playability options here too uh, there are honestly a lot of different talents and artifacts some of them we only really saw a few times we've played through this game quite a few times now um, and honestly, it's still really fun every time we do play it. But again, like having a stockpile of rubber, um, once you've purchased everything in the game, it doesn't take super long, especially because you're able to just kind of farm rubber on casual. I think it really would have made sense to um, entice people to play expert by having more rubber earned in expert. At the same time, I understand maybe why they didn't do that because people are going to find expert quite challenging but again if you can kind of just sit and do what we did rip through casual really in you know a couple of hours and you can afford to buy everything in the game it kind of defeats the purpose and any incentive to play um, more but we have spent a lot of time with this game we have really enjoyed everything that the game has been able to give us I do really want to find that perfect expert setup that's going to be able to get us through from act one to act three we've come so close now knowing what we know in ripping through casual, we know even more and I feel even more well armed. Probably going to take us a couple of run throughs to get back up to that level of competition versus, you know, these casual playthroughs that we've been doing. But super appreciate all the support that we've had from you guys along the way in both series. But this is um, the video and episode that's going to conclude the achievement progress series. We will be back tomorrow with um, picking up kind of where we left off in expert armed with all of our casual knowledge here now so hopefully this brought some value to you hopefully you learned something hopefully it's kind of shined some light on what could be a viable option for you going forward through expert if it did give this video a like drop some comments drop whatever questions you have in the comments again as always we really do appreciate and enjoy conversing with you guys through that section uh, make sure you subscribe to friendly frenzy games our youtube channel where we have plenty of tape to tape content and we will still have more of these videos coming out for you to enjoy thank you very much everybody have a great day and we will see you in our next episode